The transfer portal has been going crazy since it opened up last week. Every day, there are hundreds of players who put their name into the portal. Here are the 10 best players who have entered the transfer portal over the last few days. Before we get to today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you're watching this video, odds are that you love college football, and odds are you aren't subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe to one of the best college football communities here on YouTube. I'm posting college football videos every day during the offseason, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. We'll start out with Justin Flo, who's going to be leaving Oregon. Flo didn't quite live up to expectations while with the Ducks, considering he was the second highest recruit in the history of the program. He was the top ranked linebacker in the 2020 recruiting class. He was a five star prospect coming out of Upland, California, and was ranked as the number six overall recruit back in 2020. Injuries ruined his first two seasons as he played in a combined two games. He was finally healthy in 2022, but his numbers weren't all that special. He racked up 35 tackles with 2.5 tackles for loss in 10 games this season. Although he's been a disappointment the last three years with Oregon, he's arguably one of the more talented linebackers currently in the portal, and he's going to be a solid addition to whatever team adds him. An interesting quarterback who recently put his name in the portal is former Coastal Carolina quarterback Grayson McCall. McCall started for the Chanticleers in the past three seasons and is the best player in the history of the program. In 2020, he was a finalist for the Manning Award and a semi-finalist for the Davey O'Brien National Quarterback Award. To add on, he was the 2020 Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year, a Freshman of the Year, and First Team All Sunbelt Conference. He threw for 2,500 yards with 26 touchdowns while adding 600 yards on the ground with 7 rushing scores. He followed that up in 2021 by throwing for just under 3,000 yards with 27 passing touchdowns and only 3 interceptions while rushing for 4 scores. He was named the Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year for the second consecutive season, and he was a semi-finalist for the Maxwell Award. Once again, McCall was named the Sunbelt Player of the Year in 2022, the third consecutive season he won it. He threw for 2,600 yards with 24 passing touchdowns and only two interceptions. With two seasons of eligibility remaining, Grayson McCall is one of the top quarterbacks currently in the transfer portal. According to reports, he's expected to visit Auburn soon, who could certainly use an upgrade at the quarterback position. A surprising player that entered the portal was Virginia linebacker Nick Jackson. He's led the Cavaliers in tackles each of the last three seasons and is a three-time All-ACC selection. In 2022, he finished with 104 tackles, 41 solo tackles, 7 tackles for loss, 5 sacks, 4 pass breakups, 4 quarterback hurries, and a fumble recovery. He earned second team all ACC honors for the second season in a row after averaging 10.4 tackles a game, the second best mark in the entire conference. He was also second team all ACC in 2021 after he led the entire conference with 117 tackles. Overall, Jackson has racked up over 350 tackles while with Virginia. He's totaled 20 tackles for loss and 10 and a half sacks. Although he's currently in the transfer portal, Jackson hasn't ruled out a return to Virginia. Marshawn Lloyd leaves South Carolina as one of the better running backs currently in the portal. He was great for the Gamecocks in 2022 as he rushed for 600 yards, averaging more than 5 yards a carry with 9 rushing touchdowns. He also caught 18 passes for 200 yards with 2 receiving touchdowns. Most of those numbers came in the first 7 games of the season as he barely produced in the final 2 and missed a month of the season. Although he didn't produce much in 2022, an interesting name to keep an eye on is former Michigan State wide receiver Jeremy Bernard. The former 4 star wide receiver was with the Spartans for only 1 season as he caught only 7 passes for 130 yards with 2 receiving touchdowns. He was originally committed to Washington last year, but flipped last minute to Michigan State. He also has a potential connection to the Oregon Ducks. He has a close connection with Oregon wide receivers coach, Junior Adams. Bernard was committed to play for Washington last year, but just a few days after Adams accepted the job with Oregon, Bernard announced that he'd be decommitting from Washington and ended up in Michigan State. Arkansas senior tight end Trey Knox entered his name into the portal recently. The news came on the same day that Arkansas's tight end coach was reportedly leaving for South Carolina's offensive coordinator position. Knox caught 26 passes for 300 yards and 5 touchdowns in his first full season with Arkansas this past year. 
He was a four-star wide receiver who transitioned to tight end last season after spending his first two seasons as a receiver. In his career with Arkansas, he recorded 81 catches for 900 yards and nine touchdowns. If you want another potential connection to South Carolina, their receivers coach recruited Knox to Arkansas. Alabama freshman receiver Aaron Anderson entered the portal. Things just didn't work out for Anderson at Alabama in 2022 as he saw only three snaps all season. He was the number four overall receiver and number 35 recruit in the 2022 class. He dealt with a knee injury all season and just couldn't get on the field to show his talent. Per on three, Aaron Anderson has been compared to Elijah Moore. They say that Anderson is faster than Moore at the same stage, but shows quickness within his routes and strong hands that remind them exactly of the New York Jets wide receiver. Former Arizona State quarterback Emory Jones will be looking to play for his third team in three seasons. He was previously at Florida, where he signed as the number seven quarterback of his class. Things just didn't go well for Jones in 2022 with the Sun Devils. He appeared in eight games, completing 63% of his passes for 1,500 yards with seven passing touchdowns. He also added four touchdowns on the ground as well. However, he was benched in the second half of the season and lost his starting job. 2023 is going to be his sixth collegiate season. During his career, he's thrown for nearly 5,000 yards with 33 passing touchdowns, while rushing for 1,300 yards on the ground with 13 rushing scores. One of the better wide receivers to enter the portal recently is former West Virginia wide receiver Caden Prather. This past season for the Mountaineers, he caught 52 passes for 500 yards with three receiving touchdowns. He was third on the team in receiving yards and second in receptions. When he was being recruited, his final five teams included Penn State, South Carolina, Oklahoma, and Maryland so keep an eye on one of those teams to potentially land him. We'll wrap up today's list with another player from South Carolina, wide receiver Corey Rucker. A foot injury limited him to only two games this season, with his lone catch being a 52-yard touchdown. He transferred last offseason after a successful 2021 campaign with Arkansas State, in which he earned FWAA Freshman All-American honors. In 2021, he caught 59 passes for over 800 yards with nine receiving touchdowns while adding a rushing touchdown as well. Well, that wraps it up for today's video. Who is the top player that I talked about that is currently in the portal? Is there a school you think they'd be a great fit at? Let me know in the comment section down below. Before you leave, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. I'm posting college football videos every day during the offseason, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.